pull them back. So shoulders come up to the ears, roll back, slot in their pockets. Up to the ears, roll back, slot in their pockets. This is what he does when he's not got any attention. Stop it! Okay, take the hands to the shoulders and just start to make their circles a little bit bigger. Boris. direction, circle forwards, still have that pelvic floor lifted on level three, we still have the navel drawn in, release the hands, roll back, come on, come out. full circles if you can, depending on your shoulder flexibility, what's happening in the shoulders. Change direction, try not to lift the shoulders up towards the ears, we're just circling the arms around. One more, and then just slot them back in their pockets, fingertips to the floor, reach down the side, so one hand just slides down the thigh on the outside. Again, that pelvic floor is engaged. The weight is the same in the feet, so you're not leaning into one foot. Taking it a little bit lower and starting to reach out. So you're just reaching for a 50 pound note. I'd be reaching a lot further than this. And reach. And right out now. Give me four more. Four. Three, two, and one. Reset the shoulders, come up onto the balls of the feet, and back down. Up onto the balls of the feet, breathe out, draw in as you lower back down. Breathe in as you lift, breathe out as you lower. to stay up on the balls of your feet this time and just lift the arms up to the shoulders and back down. So you're drawing in that navel a little bit further than 30%. Pelvic floor is lifted a little higher than floor three. You're using your core, your transverse abdominis. balance and stabilize. Really draw through the crown of the head. Last one and release. Heels come down to the floor. Just come down into a small squat and lift up. And again. Hands on the hips, just lift and lower. Keep the hip 
elbows level. Just lift the knee up to table top position. So the knee is just coming up in line with the hip. Transfer the weight. One more each side. And release. Circle the ankle, circle the wrist each direction. Change sides. And then bring yourself down comfortably onto your mat. Morning, Sharon. Hola, Ivan. Hola, que tal? It's frío, see? ¿Sí? It's frío. Okay, just sitting on the mat. Make sure you're sat on your sitting bones. Relax your shoulders, roll them back. Draw the navel in, lift up the pelvic floor. Relax the arms at shoulder level. Breathe in and roll down as far as is comfortable. Breathe out, lift back up. If you prefer, place your hands behind the thighs, back of the calves, but not on your knees. Breathe in, slight tilt the chin to the chest, tilt the pelvis. Roll back, breathe out, draw in the navel, lift the pelvic floor as you roll back up, back up onto the sitting bones. And again, breathe in. Just to that point where you feel you're gonna shake. Breathe out. legs start to get a little bit tight just give them a shake and come back if you're happy with going into full roll back come down breathe out oh try not to let the feet come up off the floor it's very hard breathe in roll down curve, roll through the spine, breathe out, come back up, so really firing up the abs here, breathe in, tilt, roll back, breathe out, and come up, just give me three more of those guys, three more, I try and read what I've written, On your last one, we're gonna hold it back. So you're just gonna hold it at that point where you feel if you go any further, it'll be like that. Okay, so. Shoulders back and down, and just lift one arm up. Breathe in. up by the ear and as you get to here you probably feel the shake 
Come out of the exercise to rest if you need to. We're gonna do four. engagement did you feel that contraction did you feel that burn yes me too okay we're gonna roll it back back down to the same point time breathe out and roll up oh did you feel that yes I did too just come into Oh, full body stretch, feel that. Oh, it's lovely. And release. Okay, roll back up. Come to your knees. Oops. Okay, so you're on your knees. Take the hand down to the floor and your opposite leg out. This is where, if you've got something sturdy, like a block or a thick book, and the floor is a little bit too low for you to come to, use your block, so place your hand on the block, like so. Yeah, extend the opposite leg out. So that's if you need it, use the block. So the leg is out, the opposite arm is up. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. If you want to rest this hand here, you can. Try not to depend too much on this hand on the floor. And keep the hip in position. to and that weight on the wrist is not for you you can come to this I will let you because I'm kind if not we've got four more to keep that navel facing forward outer hip to the ceiling Again, you can still do that down here. You take it forward and back. You should start to feel the outer thigh and hip area working. 
my knee that it doesn't like, not the wrist as such. We don't want that hip to roll forward. One more. Bend that knee. Release. into a little bit of oblique work as well. Just rotate the wrists, release the wrists out if they are aching. Reset. Take the hand to the temple. Okay, take a look, breathe in, breathe out. Now, as you're coming down, try not to roll forward. So remember to keep the chest open, the navel drawn in. You can extend it by reaching or keep the hand to the temple. If you're down on the floor, haven't forgotten about you. You are here. Just watch here, it's a lot easier to start to roll back. You don't want to roll back, you want to keep it nice in alignment. Yeah, if not, you're up on your wrists. And we have four more to go. both hands on the floor just sit back on your heels and reach through and reach up we stretch down that side remember which side you were just on and then roll over onto your back for me Going to go through the basic movement of the hundred before we add a leg extension and the arm pulse. Okay, so set your neutral position, fingertips just fit under the edge of your lower back, they do not meet in the center. Okay, abs in, navel in, pelvic floor lifted, just reach up and then let your shoulder blades relax to the floor. Okay, take a breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Lift the second leg up. Breathe out. Hold at the top. Breathe in. Breathe out as you lower. Breathe in. keep doing that what I want you to think about is not turning it into the single leg kick so we don't want this yeah because that's not the hundred the hundred is the very first exercise on the back so it should be yeah because what happens is if we can't do this we can't do this correctly we can't do this yeah 
So we start with this. When you lift up, knee over hip, don't let it come further in, you'll lose your neutral position. You want a little bit of a gap here. You want a challenge, yeah? You want a challenge. So let's just do a few of those. Breathe in to prepare. Exhale, lift up, draw in the navel, lift up the pelvic floor. Take a breath in, breathe out. This is where you need to switch on a little tighter as that second leg comes up, breathe in at the top. Breathe out, take the first leg down. Breathe in. Breathe out. So when you've got one foot on the floor and one in the air, there's a little bit of support for the back and the neutral spine. It's when there's that point where you lift the second foot up, yeah, and take the second, start to take the feet back down. That's when it goes, oh, I need to switch on a little bit more. Breathe out as you lift. So here, breathe in. Now switch on, breathe out as you lift. Breathe in, switch on, breathe out as you lower, breathe in, breathe out. Can you feel the difference? So it's when the second leg comes up and the first leg comes down. There's your challenge. Two more. them both back up to the top. Hold them here. Lift the head and shoulders. Slightly draw the chin towards the chest. And I want you to breathe in and out as normal and pulse the arms. Bearing in mind it's a pulse not a flap. The wrist should not be flimsy like this. Pulse, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the head and shoulders. Just drop the heels. Okay, we're going to do that one more before we start to use the legs as well. Okay, reset the tabletop position, shins parallel with the ceiling, take a breath in, breathe out and lift, hold it here, normal breathing and pulse. need to go back down, go back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. I start to sound like Larry the Lamb, don't I? One more time, guys. Rest if you need to. Reset. Breathe in, breathe out, pulse, look through the gap between the knees. Take a breath in, 
breathe out, draw in, switch on, take the first leg down, breathe in, breathe out and take the second leg down. Whoo! Good. Okay, you can either stay with that level or we're going to extend one leg. So, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, lift the first leg. Breathe in, switch on here, breathe out and lift. Breathe in, breathe out, extend as low as is comfortable for you and pulse. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, change sides, extend and pulse, careful keep this leg over the hip, hold it still, Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, out as you take the first leg down, out as you take the second leg down. Obviously, we're going to have to do that twice more, otherwise the legs are going to be odd, aren't they? So one more time each side is what I mean. Breathe in, breathe out, lift the first leg, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale and lift, one leg goes out and pulse. Change the legs over. Hold, breathe in. Breathe out, take the head and shoulders down, breathe in. Breathe out, take the first leg down. Breathe in. Breathe out and take the second leg down. Okay, come on to that opposite side now for the side leg kick and the oblique work remember either hand on the floor hand on the block or lay down so you want to be in this position yeah you can have your hand here rest it on the hip for the first exercise make sure your wrist is underneath your shoulder and this top hip is fa facing up towards the ceiling. Your hip bones are facing forward. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up. A little bit wobbly on that side. So let me just show you the option. It's exactly the same with a little bit more support through the upper body. So you're just doing this and release. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, got four more. Keep the hip 
roll forward, feeling it here. So if like me, you're finding your balance, it's really challenged on one side than the other. Yeah, mine is. Okay, this time lift up. forward and bring the leg forward breathe in inhale exhale exactly the same if you're down on your side inhale exhale take the leg a little bit further back feel the work into your glutes inhale exhale Letting the head hip roll forward. So watch how far you bring the leg. Two it before we go into the obliques. Let's clear off that screen at the top there. That's all right. Okay, so we've got the obliques. Same side. So hand to the temple. You can either keep that here Breathe in, breathe out, or extend that reach. So breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm gonna come down, because that's the knee that I've had surgery on, and it is not liking that at all. So I'm gonna come to here, yeah? And I'm gonna bring it in, and reach. Bring it in and reach. If you're still up there, you've got four, three, two, one more. Breathe in. onto your back. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we've got quite a bit more to get through yet. So into the shoulder bridge. You may need to bring your heels in a little bit so that the heels are underneath the knees and the knees, the feet are hip distance apart. Find your neutral spine. Again, those fingertips just fit under the edge there. And you're gonna come out of neutral twice. So take a breath in. Breathe out, tilt the pelvis back, imprint the last few discs of the spine into the mat, and then slowly unpeel. So you're lifting a string of beads up away from the mat. One by one. So just mobilizing the spine at the moment. We're gonna work into some new strength moves on this exercise. So lift up, breathe in, breathe out. Lay the disc of the spine back down into the mat, imprint and forward into neutral. Now just be aware that as you're lifting up and lowering down, for now the knees don't go out to the side or the inside of the feet peel up from the floor. Let's just do two more. Imprint. If you don't want to unpeel, if that's not for you today, 
just stay with that imprint breathe in at the top breathe out and come down imprint and forward into neutral and again breathe in exhale draw in the navel tilt the pelvis back imprint and unpeel Exhale, release the disc back down to the mat, imprint and unpeel. This time I want you to stay up in the shoulder bridge. So breathe in, breathe out, unpeel and lift up. Just lift one heel, release and change. Lift one heel, release and change. And again, lift. So inhale as you lift the heel, exhale as you lower the heel. Inhale as you lift the heel, exhale as you lower the heel. Both together, inhale, exhale. Heels come up, heels come down. Make sure your heels are underneath your knees. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale slowly down, one more, inhale, exhale, come down from the bridge, imprint and unpeel, just straighten out your legs, give those thighs a little shake, they are holding you up there, and your glutes are working. Ready for the next round. Reset. Neutral. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tilt back. Unpeel. Uh, tilt back. Imprint. Unpeel. Heels underneath the knees. Okay. Take the heels up off the floor. And let one arm come up and down. Change sides. Breathe in, breathe out. So remember on that out breath, lift the pelvic floor a little higher in the lift. Draw the navel in a little further. And keep your heels down if you need to. Try not to squeeze the glutes too much. Two more. Heels go down, breathe in. Breathe out, come down from your bridge, vertebra by vertebra, imprint. Just draw your knees in or extend the legs forward.
heal up to the bridge, heels underneath the hips, heels off the floor, take the arms up, breathe in as you take them out to the side, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out. So strength. You're holding up the bridge if you need to. Pop the heels on the floor. Oh, bless. She's just saying why she can't come back. Bless. Oh, we can catch up later. Really focus on that out breath and that drawing in. Let's just go four more, yeah? So breathe in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. the arms, bring the heels down to the floor, come down from the bridge, imprint, unpeel, forward into neutral and draw your legs in. I've lost something. Set your position on the floor. Check your neutral spine position. We're going back into the core. Take a breath in. Breathe out as you lift. Slide the hands up. Breathe in as you lower. Breathe out, slight chin towards the chest as you lift up, look through the gap in the knees. Breathe in as you lower. Maintaining neutral. So feet could be a little further out now. The heels don't need to be up underneath the knees. We're not lifting the bum up from the floor as such. Okay, this time as we lift up, we're going to separate the legs. So we breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. So we're not bringing them together, we're still keeping that hip bone distance apart. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, lovely. Breathe out. Breathe in. Give me four more like this.
want to, you can either carry on like that, or instead of sliding the hands up the thighs, we lift them up. So it will look like this. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Still keep that gap between your chin and your chest. Look towards through the legs, breathe in. Four One more. And we'll get some length and a stretch, full body stretch. Over onto all fours, almost through, set up the tabletop position, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips, make sure the back isn't like this and that you've got your navel drawn up, shoulders open, back flat. Okay, we're going to lift the knees away from the floor, three in breaths, three out breaths, normal breathing. Okay, so your toes are on the floor, off we go. Come on, he's back. And again, <laughs> lift up, make sure your weight isn't forward, <laughs> one more time. One for five in breaths, five out breaths. It means we're going to have to do it twice because if you can, once you've lifted up, slide one leg out. If not, keep them both lifted parallel. Okay? Off we go. Remember, the weight doesn't need to be forward. Change sides, come down, one more time, either lift up and hold here, or just extend. Release, sit back on your heels, well done everybody. Let's have a nice stretch. Take a few deep breaths in here. Breathe out. Come up to tabletop, push the back up towards the ceiling into a cat stretch, Boris. 
That's it. Into the cat stretch. Good boy. Push up. Oh, that's lovely. Very good. And release. You won't be able to do this one. Take one hand, reach through, shoulder and ear on the floor, and then reach up with your opposite one. Oh, he's having a go. That's it. Reach up, Boris. Good boy. Oh, look how he's reaching. Change sides. Change sides, Boris. That's it. Reach up. Now. And release. Roll it. Where's he going? Oh, roll over onto your back. Hands underneath the knees. Just roll from side to side. On your back, Boris. That's it. <laughs> You're a genius. Circle round. Change direction. Hold it in the centre, forward and back. Oh, I feel great now. Take the legs to one side, arms to the opposite. Turn your head to look in the direction of your arms. You should feel a stretch across that hip glute area that we've worked today. And change sides. Liz, don't do this stretch. Take your leg out straight. That hand over the knee. Hand on the floor and ease the leg over. And change sides. over back to the center roll up to sitting have a moment before you come to your feet You can come up through the roll up if you don't. Oh, where have I gone? Oh, I'm back. <laughs>